welcome to the Victory Roll tutorial for the 1940s boutique. I'm here at Bletchley Park and I'm going to show you a fantastic little 1940s hairstyle that you can do at home on your own hair. I have actually already set Tammy's hair in elevated pin curls. Now I've actually prepared the hair with a little bit of mousse and then I've used a small curling tong to create these fantastic curls um, and we're going to leave these now to cool down and come back to these later. While the curls are cooling down, we are going to curl the hair at the back as well. So again, I've already run a little bit of product through the hair here and as you can see, Tammy has lovely, lovely long hair um, and we're now going to curl all the hair up into these elevated pin curls. <laughs> Now that Tammy's hair has been completely curled, I'm actually going to leave everything to cool down. But first, I'm going to add just a little bit of hairspray. This is going to help those curls hold and that style set in place. When you take these out, just break them up a little bit with your fingers, just so they don't stay quite so ringlet-like. It's important for victory rolls that you have that little bit of a side parting. It's just easier for the style um, and it means you don't have to spend quite so long trying to get the perfect symmetrical style. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to smooth the hair over with a soft bristle brush and the same on this side. And I'm actually going to start with the bigger side which is going to be the biggest of the victory rolls. Now I'm going to use a rat tail comb for the back combing um, and these are great because they give you really good precision when you're back combing. So what we're going to start doing is we're going to start back combing it in really nice small sections. So this is about the size of section you want to use in your back combing. Admittedly this will take a little bit longer but it will be worth it. Now that I'm happy with the back combing I'm going to take my soft bristle brush and I'm just going to tidy up the front here just to make sure that it's not looking too rough or messy. Now I'm also going to use a little bit of this, this is pomade um, and it's just a nice little waxy product that you can actually pop on your fingers and work through the hair and that's going to keep those flyaways to a minimum. So I'm just going to smooth a little bit of this on. And what you can do as well is you can just again brush at the sides keeping everything there nicely in place. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the section and I'm going to do two fingers in and I'm going to roll around those two fingers and it is quite important to use two fingers because otherwise it can be quite tricky to get your hands back out. And then I'm going to roll into the centre. And then I'm going to get my pin and I'm going to go straight through that victory roll. Now once I'm happy that that's holding, that seems to be good, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to tidy up the side of the victory roll with a little bit of hairspray and go back to my trusty rat tail comb and just clean up those sides just to make sure again that there's no flyaways and it's all looking really neat. And now I'm going to add a couple more pins to secure everything in place. The other thing to do is you can close the back of the victory roll as well. So all I'm doing is I'm sitting that roll back and I'm going to put another pin at the back which is going to help it stay in place and you know make sure it lasts. For the second one this is a bit easier because this is the smaller section. I'm going to do my back combing again now and repeat everything I did on this side on this side. So there are your victory rolls, looking nice and neat. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of the hair down and we're going to brush out those curls and finish off the style. So once you've taken all your pin curls out, you will have these lovely bouncy curls and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my um, soft bristle brush and I'm going to work those curls through a little bit again. And I'm brushing them round my hand as well and again that's just to keep the shape and keep a nice lovely soft shape to those curls. <laughs> 
can see, we've now got our fantastic 1940s victory roll look with these lovely curls. And obviously you can accessorise it, like with my felt flower in my hair, um, or with a snood or a 1940s felt hat. But if you come along to our Bletchley Park 1940s boutique, we can take you through all those other steps. Now, for more information on our workshops, do check the website. And thank you very much. I hope you enjoy trying this style at home. A job to a boogie beat It's a real thing Ain't no hard a job swing So get with the rhythm You gotta learn how Blues and dancing Later for a mountain The rhythm is easy Just fall on the floor Let the new beat Get around your feet Don't be a spanky Just get with the groove Learn to hear